my lovely people and how are we doing for the 3rd to the 9th of December. Uh, so we've got quite a big week this week. We have Mercury coming out of retrograde around about the 6th or 7th. Woohoo! We have a new moon around the same time. So this is all about new beginnings. What is the new beginning for you? Because this is feeling very significant about we've done the work, we're now moving into this new phase, stage, and we're feeling that uplift in the energy. Are you feeling the uplift? How did Mercury retrograde affect you? What's going on for you? Um, so let's have a look what we've got on the cards. We have got... These are the energy oracle cards um, we're going to be using as well as the Gilded Tarot. So we're starting off lovely with a new moon. You can't get much better than this, guys. This is the Magician and the Mirror. Sorry about the glare on the screen. Okay, so it's equivalent to the Magician in the Ordinary Tarot, which is all about us manifesting and creating. So as we come into this week, I want to really get you to focus on what do I want to create for myself for the rest of December for the holiday season and what do I want to create for the new year because this energy is going to carry us into January and it's beginning this week so although these are the energies just for this week it it never is a week a cut off a week a cut off it moves into morphs into the following week so we've got a lovely sense of creation so what are we creating let's go to the gilded tarot what are we creating for this week, guys? Let's have a look, see what's going on. Okay, so we've got two wanting to come out here. Oh, this is good. All right, so we've got the Six of Swords and we've got the Four of Cups. So the Six of Swords is a card about moving away from drama, difficulty, struggles, challenges, moving into calmer waters, moving into clearer spaces, moving into a place where it just feels easier, easier easier now we're moving away from these two came out together the four of cups is a card of feeling disillusioned fed up um it's not the five of cups which is boo woe is me but it is the i'm disillusioned i'm fed up i'm bored i thought things were going to be better than this i thought that i was moving into something brilliant and actually pfft, all right but it's not what I was looking for and that's what you're moving away from so you're moving away from this sense of boredom and frustration and life not being hugely fulfilling so this is what the magician is coming in to help you move away from that so you're moving away from this sense of boredom this sense of difficulties and challenges because the it also the magician has come out with the, the storm, all right? So the storm morning, which is all about difficulties, challenges. So these two are saying the same thing. This is a repeated message that the storm is now behind you. You're now in a position where you can manifest something much easier and smoother. So the other card that came out with it, the door to personal healing and happiness. I mean, this is what we all want, isn't it? Our personal happiness, to feel healed and whole. Now, all these challenges that we've been going through this year, particularly the last couple of weeks with Mercury retrograde, this particular Mercury, it's been about healing, releasing, coming into a new you. Um, I don't know about you, but last weekend was quite intense, wasn't it? With that full moon, I certainly did some work on releasing and clearing. I hope you did too, because now that work can start to pay off because we can open that door to our own personal happiness. Fantastic. Right, I want to go to these beautiful Lenormand cards. That one wants to come. And it's the magnifying glass. So with the magnifying glass, what we're doing is we're looking at the detail. So with that magician, because this is what it's about, you're manifesting and creating this week, guys. So we want to look at the detail. It's no good just saying, well, I'm manifesting my happiness. That's a bit woolly, isn't it? What is your happiness? Define your happiness. Does it mean I am now ready for a new love for those of you that are single? Does it mean that I am ready for that new job? What does that new job look like? If it's a new love, what does that new love look like? So go into the detail. So this week, 
As that new moon kicks in around the 7th, 8th, depending where you are in the world, you can use this time now, harness this brand new energy to say, I am creator, I am. Comment that below. I am the magician, I am creating. And I am creating my happiness. I am moving away from all of the crap so you can actually define that. It does help when we're really trying to manifest if we write things down because it focuses the thoughts, it focuses the energy and it helps you feel the energy. So make that one of your manifestations. I am moving away from the storms. I am moving away from the challenges. I'm moving away from the obstacles. I'm moving away from the boredom and the frustration. And I am moving into my personal happiness and then detail it what is that personal happiness do you want your new home your new love do you want your current relationship to be stronger in what way go into the detail because as you do that you're sending a very clear message to the universe saying thank you for bringing me xyz okay so what is it that you're wanting to bring this is a really good week this is definitely a beautiful week. Well, I want to go back to the Gilded Tower, see what else they want you to know. What else do you want to tell my beautiful people? There's a jumper. Okay, we've got the lovers here, which can signify a decision. Um, and yes, yeah, we're talking about these, you know, door to my personal happiness. What is the decision? All right, what is my happiness? Let's make a decision. I choose to be happy. I am deciding to be happy. And then maybe I'm deciding to be happy with exactly what I've got. Sorry about that, guys. I had a delivery at the door, so I had to pause. All right. So we're on this beautiful lover's card. So as we're defining this personal happiness, for many of you, it is about love, relationships, closeness, bonds, the relationship with yourself. It is deciding what do I want and what am I feeling really ready for? Because we can only manifest what we're ready for. So it's focusing on, I'm ready for that new job. I'm ready for that new relationship. I'm ready for that new home. Um, I'm ready just to actually be happy with what I've got. Whatever that decision is, it's relating to love, romance, relationships, your personal relationship with yourself, your own happiness. And that is fantastic. What else do you want me to go? We're going to go back to these energy cards. And all the links are below for all the cards that I use. There's a jumper. <laughs> it's the victory card. Wow. I mean, guys, come on. This is a fantastic reading. This is probably the best reading that I've done for you for a weekly for a long time. I mean, it's just incredible. So let's just look at these, okay? We've got the Magician saying you can manifest, you can create, you can create, the door is open now. Remember last week, didn't I give you a key? Saying your door is open now, there's the key, put your hand out. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Say, put your hand out, ask the universe, say, I'm ready, where's my key? And here we go, the door is open. The door to personal healing and happiness is wide, wide open. And the victory card is there with it. So, for you to be able to manifest that, and it's going to mean different things to different people. We need to focus the mind because of that magnifying glass. Look at the detail. Tell the universe exactly what you want. And you're telling yourself what you want. You might surprise yourself. You might have been thinking, uh, I want a new home. But actually, when you go into the detail of it, you say, no, I think instead I'm going to stay where I am and improve my own home. For some of you, they're just telling me, my angels are chattering here in my ear. For some of you, you've been thinking about leaving your current relationship. Now, this is an opportunity this week for you to say, maybe I don't need to leave. Maybe I need to improve the current relationship I've got because every relationship goes through ups and downs. And it's really about asking yourself, are there more downs than ups? And can we salvage this? And do we want to salvage this? And this is part of this decision. Do I want to salvage this? Or do I want to give it up and start again? 
Now, many of you can salvage it about focusing the mind, focusing your energy, bringing back the love. And when I'm working with uh, my hypnotherapy clients, my counselling clients, very often when the relationship they're in is gone, a bit stale, it's not making them happy anymore. One of the exercises I get them to do is to ask them to just close your eyes and I want you to remember the first date that you had the first kiss that you had, the first connection that got deeper and deeper. And as you bring that back, you start to remember why you fell in love with the person in the first place. And it can rekindle. And you can often rekindle if you decide that you want to. So do you want to? Do you want to? And you can rekindle that with a job, with a home, with anything if you want to. So it's up to you. You are the magician. You decide. Comment that below. I decide. This is my life. Nobody can make it better for me than except me. I decide what I want and where I'm going and how I'm going. Okay. Now, angels want to say something as well. Let's bring the angel cards in, see what they want to add. And yeah, while we're doing this, just to let you know, I have read your comments. I know you're missing the dailies, um, but it's really taking a lot of pressure off me to take the dailies out uh, because I'm not a full time YouTuber. I am a therapist, hypnotherapist, counselor, energy healer. I have clients. I have other things that I work with and um you know, the time on YouTube I love. I love doing these readings for you and I love connecting with you, my soul family. Um, and I'm very grateful for your likes and subscribes, your shares. I'm so grateful for all of it. But I knew I was taking on quite a lot to put in dailies as well. Done my best. I've done it for three months and I've had to pull back a little while now. Okay, so um, I'm sorry that you're missing them. But what you can do is just watch the day, the weeklies um, at the beginning of the week. Watch them again at the end of the week and see how they're playing out for you. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> all right. The angels are confirming what we've been talking about. This is your power, your power. Nobody's giving you that power. You are tapping into your own power, your own power to harness the power within you. Your power is in your solar plexus. Feel it. Put your hand on your belly and feel it and go, yeah, there's my power. Let's bring it up. Imagine that sword coming up out of you, stepping into your power to create, to manifest. You're not going to get a better week to do it than this week. Okay. So I'm certainly going to be doing it this week. And, you know, around when are we? Sort of Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday next week is when it's going to be at its peak. So let's do a little bit of work at the beginning of the week, focusing on what you want to create, what you want to manifest, get those thoughts aligned, and then keep them every day, repeating themselves to re repeating them to yourself. This is why it's useful to write them down. Because as you're creating them, and you, you can read them then every day through the week, which reinforces them, which keeps repeating it to the universe. Yep, this is what I want. Thank you so much for bringing it to me. But you have the power to create this week. Harness it. Use it. Fantastic. All right, my darlings, I hope that helps. And I will see you next week for more messages from your angels and higher self. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.